Hi, my name is Alexander Higgins, www.teamsynergy.com. In this video, I am going to walk you through making a motion detector using a red dot laser that will fire your paintball gun when somebody walks in front of the path. This is the laser right here. And basically the way I have went about accomplishing this task is I went into my local radio shack and I got an electronics kit. Um, this kit that I got is made by Parallax. Um, it looks right here. The name of the book is uh, what's a microcontroller. And basically the book has several electronic projects in it. Um, and it comes with this electronics board. And this is called the basic stamp 2. One component is the photoresistor, which allows us to measure how intense a light beam is. And we're going to use that particular electronic component to detect whether our laser um, is making contact with it or not. And the other is control a motor using a servo. Um, and basically, what a servo is, it's just like a little electric motor. Basically, I have the Tipman X7. The sniper kit that I purchased came with a bipod that you see right here. So, that's the inventory that we have there. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to take a look at is our basic stamp controller. In chapter 4 of the book, um, the chapter is called Controlling Motion and that chapter shows us how to set up the servo. We have the diagram right over here. Basically our servo is set up um, to go in slots 11, 10, and 9 on the right side using our 3-pin connector adapter. We have this bottom wire here which goes up to our negative source. The wire in the middle is a ground which goes into the VIN slot and the positive wire is going to come out of slot 11 into slot P14 and send signals across the slot through our resistor and once it feeds this slot the electricity goes into the motor and how fast we send the pulses lets us know um, what position we're going to turn the motor in and you can see the layout down here. The other part of the circuit that deals with the photo sensors on the circuit board. You'll see that diagram right here and that's basically what I just outlined on the circuit board. The resistor goes over from the second pin to the breadboard. The capacitator is going to store a charge for us and that charge is going to let us know how strong the light is going into our photoresistor and again we have one more power supply to complete our circuit going um, from the bottom of the board up to our negative. Now you'll see once you plug the photoresistor in um, your average room light will show an output of anywhere between 2 and 300 um, and actually if we even get really close with a house lamp that'll drop down to around 20. However we have our red dot laser we put that onto the photo sensor the value goes up to a 1 um, which indicates a very intense light beam. So I basically programmed it so that it has to detect this light on it for two seconds before it activates. Once it has the light on it for more than two seconds, then it initializes and it starts waiting. Once the light source is broke after we have it on there for two seconds, it then activates the servo. And I'll go ahead and we'll look at exactly how that's going to work right now. You'll see that we have the photoresistor right here. And we have our servo right there in the background. So I'm going to hold this over for two seconds and that's going to activate the main program. Now after I have it over there for two seconds, once this laser's contact with that photoresistor, 
is broken, you'll see it starts to shoot. So I programmed it so um, it'll only fire up to five times, and each time it fires, it's going to pull the trigger five times. Um, after that five times, um, the program resets itself, and it starts rerunning all over again. And th the reason that I'm doing that is because if this is set up in the woods, and let's say a leaf gets in the way of it, or who knows, the red dot falls over, anything could happen. I don't want the, the gun to be going off in the woods um, over and over again and consuming all my paintball and all my air. See, this is going to get set up in the woods as soon as somebody walks in front of it that fires the trigger, and <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. And I'm just going to place my circuit board back inside of the original box that it came with. So I'm going to put this under here. So basically we're going to mount this. We can simply set the box up right here next to our trigger. Once we place the um, servo on it, it pretty much lines up with the exact height of our trigger. We're just going to go ahead and screw that right into our box. You just want it to be in there nice and snug and tight like this. You're just going to take this screw in the, uh, we're going third hole up from the bottom with my um, fingers just to give it a little grip in there. And that should suffice. Alrighty, so now we've switched over to the other side. So, just we're going to go ahead and set the laser pointed at our um, photo sensor. One, two, and somebody just walked. I think that's pretty good because if you have the e-grip on the X7, um, it's pretty sensitive. So I'm going to go ahead and plug uh, a 9 volt into the e-grip and we're going to turn this on and see how it fires. Okay, well it definitely fires. Um, we missed that on tape, but I left my um, CO2 can on there. So I thought it was out of air. Um, you'll see, I just blasted my wall. Oh man! That was nasty, and I do not want to be the person to get in front of this gun. <laughs> All right, so I uh, removed the air from the gun. I'm going to go ahead right now and activate the laser. One, two, now I'm tripping it. Ah, oh, that's bad. Each one of those clicks is a paintball firing at somebody because they just walked into one of our laser. One last thing here, I'm going to go ahead and set the laser up across the room. We have the laser pointing at the photo sensor. You really can't see it with this light on. I turn it off, you can see it's right there. It's pointing right at the photo sensor. We basically just have the red dot laser sitting on top of stereo and we're going to record myself walking in front of this laser. Let's see. Yeah, I just got shot. Oh. You can see I'll turn this other light off. Well. So now all you can really see is the red dot. So there you go. That is how you make a laser activated paintball gun. Beginning to end. Full instructions. Hope everybody has fun with the setup, because I know I will. Team Synergy in the house, teamsynergy.com. Check out Team Synergy for more videos.